What's up guys, this is Coach Donnie from ElevateYourself.org. As you can see, it's really early in the morning. <clears throat> My voice is still waking up. It's 6.30 a.m. on Sunday and I am playing in my first volleyball tournament in two years. It's crazy it's been that long. Man, it feels really good. I am not afraid to admit this, even though I've been playing volleyball for 20 years. So I started playing volleyball when I was like 16 and I'm 36 right now. I've been to hundreds of tournaments. I still get so excited. I couldn't sleep last night. And I know it's not just because it's my first volleyball in two years. This is just how I usually am. I'm also extra excited because I'm playing with my team, the Tall Ones. We have a new version of the Tall Ones this coming year, and this is our first time playing in a tournament together. So I'm really looking forward to building that chemistry uh, when we compete in the Volleyball League of America. First thing I gotta do is pick up some breakfast at McDonald's. Before I get my breakfast, I gotta pick up my Gatorades at 7-Eleven. So as I'm driving to get my McDonald's breakfast, I'm gonna talk about why I have a tradition for probably 10, 15 years of eating McDonald's before a tournament. I've tried all the healthy breakfasts in the past, oatmeal, whatever, chicken breast, broccoli for breakfast, yams, and for some reason, McDonald's is the one that gives me the most energy for the longest time. I mean, not surprisingly, because it's pretty high in calories. I'm essentially eating a, a meal that's 800 to 1,000 calories. Uh, but even when I eat near the equivalent for oatmeal and some of the other more complex carbs, I just burn that off too quickly and I start to get lightheaded like one or two hours into the play. And it's important to understand that nutrition is highly personalized. There are some general principles you want to follow like get your carbs, fats, and proteins, all your macronutrients, but you do want to experiment for what makes you feel energized because it's also based on your genetics too. So I found what works for me and uh, I encourage you guys to, to experiment on your own. Can I get a sausage egg McMuffin meal, black coffee, sausage McGriddle, and that's it. Thank you. I love American breakfast. So I'm gonna be eating this as I'm driving because I'm gonna try to get there as early as possible and secure a parking spot. So I decided not to eat my sausage McGriddle because I started feeling full. One new skill that has taken me so long to learn as an adult is not to overeat. For those of you who love food like I do, sometimes you just like to keep eating until you feel stuffed. It just doesn't feel good. When you're younger, you just ignore some of those pains and, and that discomfort. But as you get older, I just don't like that feeling anymore. So I'm trying to eat and pace myself a little bit more. We just got here at the SF Elite Volleyball Club, which is where we'll be playing our tournament. We have to check in, the doors just opened. So the best part about coming early is there's six chairs. We got Luke there, oh, matching mask, not bad. We got Mr. Stahl, Swedish professional. And this is the gym, pretty big. This is what court one looks like. So the nice thing is we got the most service area out of all the courts. It's a really nice place, SF Elite Volleyball Academy. So we got three courts on this side. We got the fourth court over there. But there's really only six chairs in this building. Actually, no, on that side, there's about seven. So not a lot of space, but we got to claim the area. So we're refing first. There's our refing crew. We're getting warmed up, ready for our first match. Finished our first official tournament warm-up. Can't wait to play our first set. Chris is running late because his phone died, so we got to play with six. Middles go all the way around. So hopefully he'll make it very soon. Is that Kyle? beat the first team with a big margin. 
But then they started getting in our groove and we started making some mistakes and they beat us the second one, cap at 27 points. Using the first game for information versus trying to win in the beginning, we want to win towards the end. Oh man, we squeezed that one out at the end. I love that our pool is pretty tough. We got some good players. Um, it's always good to have a tougher pool play because then when you get to playoffs, you're already mentally in that zone. So it's good that we're being pushed and we're really forced to figure out our hidden connections, our defensive schemes. Now we're off and then get a little food in this guy and then we're gonna play and then off and then receive for playoffs. But so far, I think we're first in our pool so far. That's a good volleyball guy. He called his own touch. Thanks, Luffy. We just finished our pool play, as mentioned earlier, and I actually don't know if we are first. I think it's gonna depend on how this last match goes, but it's gonna be close, man. We split two matches and we only swept one team, so hopefully our port differential squeezes it out at the end. And now I'm gonna go eat my Eric's Deli turkey avocado sandwich with my Gatorade and some chips for lunch and get energized for playoffs. And now we gotta go to the captain's meeting to figure out where we stand in playoffs. So a lot of fans are coming up to me and I really try to take the time to talk to them and get to know them because all my mentors and idols like Matt Anderson and Reed Pretty took the time to talk to me so I try to pass it on. And now people are starting to say hi to Chris. So I'm gonna have Chris share a story about his first experience being a celebrity. <laughs> yeah, my first experience was in Modesto of all places at the, at the Apple store. <laughs> I was just helping my wife buy a phone and this, this like high school kid walked up to me. He's like, hi Aqua, Chris, Chris. And he was like, I'm left-handed too. And then we just like talked for like five minutes. And it was go. cool, it was fun. I was wearing this shirt actually. Okay. I think that, that came that away right away. That they do. It. So there you have it. I'm not saying we're the best volleyball players, but it, it's really great to hopefully set a good example as people and as volleyball players. So thank you for all the fans for your support. So we met some fans here and they're thinking about what to say. It's okay, you guys can take your time. They're trying to think of what to say for the shout out. It's, it's really cute. <laughs> hey guys, it's Christian Cortez. My name is Mason Sam. Coach Donnie has been an inspiration to me since I was a freshman in sophomore high school. He taught me how to do everything and it was pretty cool to finally play against him in some moments. He taught us a lot at clinics and I honestly thank him a lot for making me a better volleyball player. I always remember the bow and arrow with Zeus. There we go, yeah. Zeus. <laughs> You've been studying. Thank you guys. We've got my good volleyball buddy here, Jay, Coach Jay. I want to give a shout out to two of his players that have been watching my videos and learning, and I really appreciate the coach passing them on. So, who are these what special are you guys? And, uh, Dre and I think that's about it. Dylan and Dre? Yeah. Dre, good luck out there. You guys got a good coach. Keep playing, and you guys got at least 50 more years of volleyball. So, hang in there. <laughs> right now, we just won, and this is the other quarterfinal match. We got Smash versus. Looks like a bunch of dragon fire guys, so this would be a fun match. A lot of good defense. This is a team that Josh and Clay play with. So Brand's working on his nine man serve to see if he can do it in sixes. It's like a screwball standing float. Let's see if we can get it in. Perfect.
one's volleyball right there. Scramble play, work your ass off, convert. Perfect. It's a lesson for everyone to learn. You know, mentally we went in underestimating the team and you know, we know better, but we just didn't put in our best effort. So that's why they were up and it was a good team, super scrappy. Called a timeout and Fred, our middle, just kind of yelled at us to say, dude, we gotta stop being so lazy and just work harder. So that was a good timeout. And that's the great thing about the team is everyone's trying to contribute. And even though I'm the, the captain of the team, Fred took it upon himself to Make sure that we were in mental shape and, and we came back. So now we, we got to win this one to keep our way in the gold contention championship match. Sorry, it's been a long day. You to hear my voice is gone too. tough loss we had a chance to finish it's tough because our offense started getting pretty predictable and you know what can you do i am beat i think we're all just really tired and they had great energy and it just took us too long to get into it and even though chris got blocked i just i told him i would i wouldn't have it any other way he went for it he tried to do something and you got to go out with no regrets so that was great i lost focus during some moments and that was frustrating because some really simple mistakes that lost like two or three points and i think fatigue really got to me so I gotta work on my mental game too. Congratulations to Team Finau. Well, I'm really happy with our progress. So we got a ref and then we got to go home, get the rest. So I screamed really loud and everyone was staring at me and I said yes because Smash, who is gonna be in the finals, they're forfeiting because they're just as tired as we are and it's probably not safe to play when you're that fatigued, so. We had a rock, paper, scissors who was going to stay and ref the championship match, so I did scissors and I won. And now we get to go home. It's good. I was wondering where my sausage McGriddle went. Could have used this earlier. Man, I am beat. I am tired. I just had no lift in my legs. I was just so tired that I was losing focus. I was making really dumb, simple mistakes, and it just goes to show that I still have some ways to go before I fully get back into volleyball shape and, and good conditioning. So it's motivating, uh, but today, quick recap, because I just want to go home and eat and, and be with my wife. We did pretty well. Uh, I mean, Kyle is a great attacker and he usually doesn't do serve receive and he did a good job today. So it's good having his arm. We had Luke today, which I'm really grateful that he subbed and hopefully we can have a little bit more diverse of an offense 
Uh, once we get Anthony back in the mix and, and, and Fred with a better connection. But overall, I felt like our service was pretty good. We had those hustle plays. I would honestly say today was the first time it fully felt like the tall ones where we just make these crazy defensive plays and we win the long rallies. That last match was tough. I felt like the entire team was rooting for Team Finale and they had their, their music blasting and they had great energy. Shout out to all the Samoans out there. I uh, love the vibes that you guys always bring and the athletic style of play and, and just all the smiles and laughs. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next vlog. Hey!